A narcissist's relationship with television or any other similar screen is as toxic and as destructive as their relationship with any other source of supply. There is always something playing on that screen and they obsessively watch movies, sitcoms, serials and shows that teach them how to be a better narcissist. Like a sponge, they absorb all the information from a particular movie or show to become a better scamster, a fraudster, and a con artist. They don't have a true personality. They are a bit of everybody they meet. Think about that for a minute. They are a bit of everybody they meet. I always say they follow the script. They do not know how to genuinely act, what to say, what to do, and what not to do. That's why they mirror you. That's why they copy everything you are and make it their own. They channel a lot of information when watching television. And the next thing you know, they say the same things like that actor said, that con artist said, that psychopath or the narcissist said. They do the same things in real life with people and test if it works. Unfortunately, in a lot of cases, it does. And that is how they learn, how they become good at abusing and destroying people. All of that is not to say that people who continuously watch television like their screen is on 24-7 are narcissists. That would be a dumb thing to say. Many survivors find solace in their screens. That's why they keep them on 24-7. They want to fill that silence with something. They want to remain distracted from their anxiety, from their pain and everything else. They want to remain disconnected from the chaotic environment and sometimes for example in narcissistic families we don't have anybody to raise us so that box that television that screen raises children so that is an entirely different case than what we are discussing today i'm danish a narcissistic abuse recovery professional the topic for today's episode is why do some narcissists watch television obsessively a long time ago, I asked a narcissist, what is your favorite movie? He answered, The Wolf of Wall Street. I was surprised for a moment because back then I didn't know I was dealing with an arc. I asked him, what's so interesting about it? Why is it your favorite? He smiled, but that smile was not a casual smile. It was a smirk. And he said, well, it teaches you strategies. What kind of strategies? I asked, to be smart to get rich, to become famous, to get your money from other people. I was taken aback, then I asked again, but isn't that an unethical way to earn money? Like illegal, there is something called illegal. The guy who did that was sent to jail for a lot of years. He was a scamster. What do you have to say about that? Oh, that part, ignore that. The system did not want him to escape the matrix. Those were his words. But no, it has nothing to do with escaping the matrix. He was scamming people. No, 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 no. You, are, you don't know things as they are. He didn't scam anybody. He was just doing what he needed to do for his family. He wanted to get rich and he got rich. I, I simply cut off that conversation right there because I knew there was something deeply wrong with this person. But that tells us these people are really messed up here. They watch movies, dramas, serials, series, sitcoms that teach them strategies. In these movies, you will usually find a narcissistic presence. And this narcissist who is watching that thing vicariously lives through the actor because the narcissist does not have an actual personality. So it's almost like they step in to their shoes and say and do things in the movie. That is their fantasy, delusions of grandeur. And then what happens is their personality changes. When they watch stuff, as I explained in the beginning, they take that stuff with themselves, make it their own, and then apply it to other people. Back in the mind, always testing, thinking, oh, this thing works, I said that. It may not be learning con artistry. It could be just watching a famous actor saying a, a famous romantic dialogue, something from Shakespeare. And then the next thing, 
the narcissist says the same thing with the same impact, the same emphasis on different words in the same tone. That's crazy. That looks like multiple personality disorder, doesn't it? They become what they know will get them maximum supply. That is how they woo people. That's how they lure you into their trap. You don't know that is fake charisma. You don't know there is no true personality and it's an absorbed, created one and created out of all the movies they have watched. You feel, or should I say they make you feel, it's their authentic self. And that is why they are true copycats. They're shapeshifters. I keep saying they're shapeshifters. They're like a cloud that can become anything. And this is the weirdest explanation uh, I can give you. They become the actors they keep watching all the time. They follow the script. It's like learning a sales script. You learn what to say. You learn what emotions to trigger. And then you learn what to pitch at what point and how to deal with resistance to get what you want. That's exactly who they are. The other reason why they may obsessively watch stuff is distraction. They want distraction. They can't face their darkness. They can't sit with their truth because truth annihilates a narcissist. What is their truth? They are insecure. They're not as powerful as they think they are. And their false self is nothing but a big lie they have been telling themselves. They've been gaslighting themselves. So they can't stand silence. They need distraction as well. That's why something is always on. Something is always playing on that screen. What are some of the genres they like to watch? Crime, psychological thrillers, suspense, dark comedy. That one is huge. They also like to watch biographies of criminals, psychopaths and sociopaths. They're obsessed with it. And they don't feel bad. Like when they watch stuff happening on the television and when they get to know what that person did and how heinous it was, you wouldn't see any uh, disgust on their face or shock or fear. They'll be watching it with a smirk on their face. I have watched it with my own eyes happening and it shocked me to my core. Have you experienced something like this? Drop your answers in the comments below. Also, Ed, which genre did the narcissist that you were with like the most and what it meant to them? So my final thoughts on this, television or any other similar screen becomes an extension. It's not the thing, it's the personality. Their core personality is of a narcissist and you know they don't have a true personality. Of course, everything they do reflects the same thing, the same emptiness, and they have to fill it with something. And TV is one of those things. What are your thoughts on this and experiences? Drop them in the comments. I will talk to you in the next one. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and continue.